Let's take a look at how we can import our dependencies inside of VS Code. So right now we are importing Shake and Subscription. If we remove these items, you'll notice that we do get this underline. Now we could go in and manually type import subscription from RxJS subscription, or alternatively, we can navigate our cursor so that it's on the same line or on the same words, and you'll notice that we now have this light bulb. If we click the light bulb, you can see that we have import subscription from RxJS slash subscription. If we click that, our dependency is imported and we didn't have to type it out manually. We could do the same for shake, but this time on a Mac, we can hit command and dot as in full stop and we get the same menu. On Windows, I'm fairly certain it's control dot and we can navigate the menu with the up and down arrow and select the appropriate item. Now that's how we do it without any sort of plugin. We can also get a plugin named Auto Import, and if we remove this subscription once again, and we start typing subscription, you'll see that we have this import. If we click that, not only does it autofill the rest of our text, but it also imports the appropriate dependency. So that's how we can use VS Code to import our dependencies.